Well, good morning. We are getting breakfast now. This is day three at Moab, and it's Sunday. We're pretty excited. Yesterday, we got to do a couple trails, and boy, do we have a story to tell you about finding a place to stay last night. Thank you. Okay, so we went to Poison Spider last night, or yesterday afternoon, and we thought, okay, well, we're gonna do the trail, and then we're gonna go and find a place to either camp or we're gonna stay at a hotel. Turns out we needed to take a shower and we wanted to have a comfortable place to sleep. So we looked at a couple of different um, campsites where we could, you know, stay and um, with showers and other things like that. And we found one and I drove all the way out there just to find it being completely booked. And not only that, but also we just couldn't find any good camping situation and there's a lot of restrictions on where you can and can't camp so that was a huge deal yesterday so then we decided okay forget it we're just gonna go back into town to Moab and we're gonna find a hotel and that's what we're gonna do well it turns out <laughs> every hotel in Moab was taken and we found one room one room at the Best Western but they wanted a leg for it and so we decided we weren't gonna do that and we kept looking at every hotel and we just could not find a hotel room anywhere last night which is why we didn't upload a video last night and at the end of the night we decided okay well we're gonna go and try to see if we can find this first camping somewhere so we drove all around town um and we drove um over by fence and things and we found a bunch of campgrounds in that area um, you know, you pay a fee and then you can just basically have any open space that you can find. Well, we couldn't find one that was open at all. So we continue to look, continue to look uh, for hours. Now it's 9.30 by this time and we're still looking for uh, camp. So we finally find, <laughs> we finally find a spot. Um, it was pretty hidden, but we could hear people camping and partying pretty much all over the place and we did have some pretty noisy rowdy neighbors <laughs> at camp so uh however we couldn't you know film very much last night because of that we were pretty stressed out we were hungry and we were tired so we finally found a spot where we could camp we spent the night there and for tonight and tomorrow we have a place to sleep so we have we're not gonna do the whole camping situation anymore we're not gonna try to go out and look for camping that's just too stressful for us right now so we're just gonna rent a hotel tonight um, here in Moab and then we have an Airbnb for Monday night. And on Tuesday night, we're gonna go home. So that was our crazy story last night. Uh, this morning I woke up and found out that we were actually parked somewhere we weren't supposed to be. And I kind of knew that last night um, and I felt really bad about doing that, but that's the only place where we could camp. And the guy talked to me this morning and he said, hey, you know, you're not allowed to park here. And I said, I'm sorry. Um, and then he said, that's fine, you know, just pack up and leave. And that's what we did. And now we're getting some breakfast. We're gonna go and hit up some trails today and try to find some beautiful places for you guys to see. Then we're going to show you uh, what we did at the end of the day. You know, guys, just being here in Moab, it's incredible. Look at this thing. I mean, just look at it. Pretty incredible looking TJ here. Wow, pretty nice. So we're at the rec center here in Moab and we're just here to take a shower since we didn't have a place to sleep last night and we didn't have a shower, of course. Um, so we're just gonna take a shower today and then we're gonna go and do a trail. And right after that, we're gonna uh, come back, have lunch and or dinner. Who knows how long this trail is gonna take. And then we're gonna go um, to the hotel. That's where we're gonna be staying. And
she says she just lifts her feet. Oh, she's going around. All right, so my gosh, look at that view. We're still doing chicken corners. This trail is pretty beautiful. It's proven to be a really easy trail so far. I don't know if there is a, uh, a more technical area, but uh, so far we haven't, you know, we haven't used our four by four. We haven't uh, aired down or anything. The trail has been pretty easy so far. Um, and that's kind of what we were looking for just because we have the tent and our Jeep is just fully loaded. So we can't really, although the Jeep is very capable, and still with the tent is very capable. We just don't feel like breaking down. We don't feel like, you know, having any accidents or anything like that. Nobody does, right? Um, so we're taking it easy a little bit and uh, we're just doing the best we can. Uh, although when I see technical spots, I just wanna go ahead and do it. <laughs> so, but we're gonna continue to record uh, and show you guys what we're up against. What a beautiful place. I still can't have enough of it. Uh, we're just parked here, taking a quick break. We're pretty much halfway through the uh, trail I just checked. We gotta keep going. There's a lot of traffic going through here today. I've seen people running. I've seen people using ATVs. I've seen people using Jeeps and everything else. So it's actually turning out to be a really nice day and I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna continue uh, going down this trail and see where it takes us. A lot of ATVs here. Yeah. 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 Moab. Well, what a beautiful place this is. Oh my gosh, we're just enjoying the beauty and the gift that God has given us with this place. You know, sometimes it's not all about trying to finish the trail, but actually enjoying the views and enjoying this majestic 
desolate place is what it is. Uh, but it's so beautiful all in its own, you know. What do you think, babe? Well, I think it's lovely out here. It's so beautiful. It's such warm weather. Yeah, and there is pretty much like a panoramic view. It's pretty incredible. Uh, you can see from the right to the left, there's nothing but just beautiful canyons and mountains and rock and all these different colors. And you know, there's there's just so much to it. Um, so we're just taking taking it all in, sitting down for a few minutes and just enjoying the nice breeze and you know, catching a tan. <laughs> Uh, but it's right around, you know, 70 degrees today, so it's just beautiful out here. Um, if you ever get the chance, you know, and you want to skip the heat, come out this week, you know, come out during Easter Jeep Safari. Yeah, Moab is just crazy. Uh, you're not going to be able to find a hotel. <laughs> we already talked about that, but, and if you are going to do it, you know, just book your hotel a few months ahead in advance. Of ahead of time. Um, but, you know, this is beautiful if you wanted to do some camping in the middle of the night and you have nowhere else to camp, this would be a great camp spot. Um, and again, this is uh, Chicken Corners. That's the trail that we're on right now. Uh, we're about halfway through it and uh, we're, we're gonna keep going up. We can keep seeing people going up there um, and it just looks like it just keeps going around. So we'll show you what the top looks like. guys so we are about halfway through the trail i believe um so far it's been beautiful views all around all 360 um and we've just been really enjoying it i mean you can kind of see rocks on the window here and it's beautiful everywhere you go here it's just beautiful I keep calling it chicken's coop. I was saying we are headed back into town to check into our hotel. Um, and then from there we might go do another trail or get something to eat. We're not sure yet, but follow us.
we are back in town and we decided to get some food, of course. Right behind me we have um, a bunch of food trucks. It seems like a food truck plaza. Um, I live on Pinterest, so I did find on Pinterest a food truck that's called Quesadilla Mobila. So we're gonna check that out. It's probably open later, so we'll come back and check later. Okay. Aquila. We'll come and get it. We didn't even lock the Jeep. <laughs> Give you some uh, sour cream and green salt. What did you get? Well, you copied me, so we have the same. Oh. <laughs> and then for drinks, we got this nasty La Croix and Powerade. And then we got Arizona watermelon. I'm going to print All right. Looks good. Well, that was pretty decent. <laughs> we weren't expecting very much of it. But no, it was actually really good. So we're just making our way back to the Jeep. We're gonna go check into our hotel and then we're gonna walk around Moab a little bit more. I'll see how it happens. so much the tire axle which you know it's a little bit wider so if they have like a Dana 60 on it yeah I just want to know what's the size of the <clears throat> they probably have like 40s on it this is Moab it is such a busy week here at Moab
I never thought I would get to see the Rebel Off-Road vehicles. Here you go. Yeah.